John, did you kill those two women? John Bitroff, a carpenter from Manorville, was only caught for two cold case murders of sex workers because his brother's DNA showed up in a state database in 2014. This lead helped cops close in on Bitroff, who was a married father of two. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. His brother was in court for John Bitroff's arraignment. The victims were 31-year-old Rita Tangretti, discovered beaten and strangled in late 1993, and Colleen McNamee, who was 20, she was found in January 1994 in the Manorville Patchogue area. We specifically asked the Suffolk County DA if Bitroff could be tied to the Gilgo and Oak Beach victims 40 miles from Manorville. There is no evidentiary or investigative link between these two murders and any of the Gilgo victims. But we noted in our reporting over the last three years that the torso of one victim tied to the serial killer, Jessica Taylor, was discovered in Manorville, where Bitroff lived, in 2003 while her hands and skull were found during the Gilgo Beach investigation in 2011. We noted that the torso of another unknown woman had also been found in Manorville in 2000, which matched up with the head, hands, and legs of a Gilgo Beach victim in 2011. The bodies of the four initial victims found in Gilgo Beach in December 2010 were intact and wrapped in burlap. But after Bitroff's arrest, we consulted retired homicide investigator Vernon Geberth, who's written about sex crimes and serial killers. They do say that those four bodies and those heads and hands are related to one killer. After Suffolk County's chief of department, James Burke, was arrested in 2015 for assaulting a suspect, the county's police department was turned upside down and the FBI rejoined the serial killer investigation. And now, three years after the Suffolk County District Attorney said there was no investigative link between Bitroff and the Gilgo Beach case, we're getting a different story. On the same day that Bitroff was sentenced for killing the two sex workers in the early 90s, quote, there are remains of the victims at Gilgo that may be attributed to the handiwork of Mr. Bitroff, and that investigation is continuing.